Hey everyone, welcome to Carlin Tips. Today I wanted to answer a question that came up in a previous episode as a comment. And that question is, what happens when you add null plus null in Kotlin? The answer is, it depends. Let's see what I mean. I've brought in some code from a previous episode, which we can ignore for the time being. We'll start very easily by just typing null plus null. And we'll actually assign this to our result variable so that we can see what the type is. Okay, so there you have the answer. By default, null plus null is a string. And why is that a string? Because Kotlin tries to be helpful and it tries to find an overload um, that matches these two values. And it infers types as best as it can. So it says, well, this left null, it might be a nullable string. And then we can take any other thing on the right hand side and we can add it. So if we print this, our result will be null null. And I want to make this a little bit more crazy and reintroduce some of the code that we've written in one of the last episodes. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. It's really just a very basic uh, two-dimensional vector class that supports uh, plus with nullable arguments on both sides. Now, here's something that might scare you a little bit. As soon as I added this code, um, you could see the type uh, hint down here change from string to vector2. And if you think about it, that does kind of make sense because Kotlin's trying to be helpful um, and it's trying to look for an overload for the plus operator between two null values, uh, which now happens to be vector2 uh, plus some other vector2, both nullable. And yeah, that might be spooky. But realistically, you are never going to encounter this situation because this is only a behavior that happens with null literals without any other context. More realistically, you would get a variable or a return value from somewhere. Uh, we'll call this one A and we'll make it a nullable vector2 and we'll assign it null. And we'll have another one which we probably would get from somewhere else and we'll also assign that one to be null. Now in this situation, it makes perfect sense that the return type of a plus b would be another vector too, because that's kind of how we defined this operation. But to drive the point home that this isn't exactly a foot gun, uh, let me change uh, b, for example, to be a nullable string. And then you can see that our function down here tells us, well, we can only add two nullable vectors to each other. We can't add a nullable vector and a nullable string. So while the version uh, where you just write null plus null something that I am certain you will never do in any kind of code unless you are writing a Kotlin puzzler. Uh, while this version might look uh, a little bit freaky and a little bit scary, uh, rest assured that when you're just adding regular values that you're receiving from functions and so on, um, you're not shooting yourself in the foot by supporting nullable values for your operators. Hope this clarification made a little bit of sense and you learned a little bit about what it means to add null and null together in Kotlin. If you want to understand a little bit more about how we arrived at the implementation for this plus operator, uh, you can check out the Kotlin tip on this stuff as well, which we probably have on the screen here. Otherwise, I'm going to see you in a future video. Take care, everyone.